When I went to Africa, um, it was to do research which has more impact on people's lives. Like a biomarker study where you would know at the end, maybe it can be translated into a diagnostic tool which then can improve people's lives. And on the other side as well, there was a way for me to teach African scientists and that was um, it's a really, really rewarding job. It was my father who initiated me into doing sciences um, and I took them on. I know it's a challenge in Africa for a woman to do sciences. Basically in the lab we work with mainly three pathogens. We work mainly with HIV, cryptococcal meningitis, and then um, TB or FTB. When Staffy came in, we had gotten the low cytometer. It was a new machine. To me, I had not used it. So we worked together. She taught me how to use it, how to work with cells, how to stain, and yeah, it was good. pathway of how CD4 T cells die, which is called pyroptosis. Pyroptosis is initiated by an enzyme called caspase 1, and there are currently drugs out there which can inhibit caspase 1, which then means you can actually stop CD4 T cells from dying, which could delay the progression to AIDS in people. That's what, what we are hoping for. First, I have to see whether this pathway is happening in uh, HIV-infected people, so that's the first step. But it's definitely very important work which could have a really huge impact on, um, on the um, people living with HIV. We know our problems and we know our challenges, but I think we need a little help so that we can overcome these challenges. So we really want to see that we learn and can do our work better for the good of the people.